Hey girls, we've stopped on the side of the road so Chris can go fishing while I go shopping. I'm gonna show you Chris. Bye Chris. He's gonna go out there and wait in that marsh and go fishing. He's so silly. See, y'all can see it kind of out there. Let me zoom in. So he'll wade through that tall grass to go fishing out there. There he goes. <laughs> he said, you wanna go? I said, are you kidding me? I'm not wading through that grass. For one, I don't have boots. And for another, we went to at home this morning and walked that whole store. And my legs are killing me because I did not wear my compression socks. And I told him, I said, I'm going to go to Belk because I got a $10 coupon and get you some underwear. <laughs> He goes, if you're going to go shopping, I'm going to go fishing. And I said, okay, that sounds good to me. Y'all, it is 81 degrees down here. It is so hot. And all I bought, brought with me was blue jeans and my black lounging pants. Wait a minute, I got to fix this. And so I'm burning up down here, y'all. But I got on my Collard Valley Cook shirt, and me and Chris are going to fry up some chicken while we're down here. We'll probably do that on Wednesday, maybe. Unless he's just shooting at the bit to get the boat out by Wednesday. Because tomorrow they're delivering our furniture. And we'll be hanging up pictures and all that stuff after the furniture gets in place. And then, uh, Wednesday or Thursday, I'll be frying up some chicken. I won't do it live because I want it to be a good quality video. Um, but anyway, y'all get to see it. And um, I think tonight, Brussels Sprouts posts on YouTube. They're, they're really good too, y'all. I, I made them with bacon, onion, a little sugar, a little vinegar. They're gonna be really good. Um, I'm disappointed because all of the antique stores are closed today, of course. Because, you know, I want to get me some um, of that green glass. I don't know what it's called, but it's clear and green looking. I'd love to find some goblets that color to go in my um, cabinet. And so, but nothing's open right now. Yeah, me shopping and Chris fishing, that's more like it, ain't it? Of course, I don't know how long I'm gonna last. I took some ibuprofen and I put on my compression socks, so we're about to find out. Um, I only need a few things. I need some towels. I need a cabinet that's about two by two, which has been crazy hard to find, and it needs to be tall with sh shelves, open shelves for the kitchen. We got a nice big picture of a barn today to go over the door in the kitchen. And um, I'm just excited, y'all. Don't you just love my new dishes? Was that not amazing? Daddy found those. She says it's Mike Glass and one person said Jadeite. Really? Well, I will keep my eyes open. I told Chris there's a little shop down the road that is open. Of course, he was tired of going in shops, so he didn't want to go. So maybe I'll stop in there and see if they got some. And I could always go by Goodwill because I found some pretty cool things at Goodwill to bring down here. Um, but anyway, the cushions on that couch out in that sunroom are pretty nasty. They're really nasty, to tell you the truth. And so Chris went and looked at curtains in that place today. I mean, not curtains, cushions. And he goes, oh my Lord, these are $49 a piece. I said, yeah, they're expensive cushions. Ain't never been cheap. And you, and uh, sometimes you can get them on sale at Home Depot or whatever at the end of the season, but you're lucky to get as many as we need to match. 
so I'm just gonna take them things out the sun and spray the hound out of them with some bleach water and um, we're gonna use them white things it's already out there I don't care the um, I told him I said we could always buy some fabric and cover them you know if we wanted to I told him when we were on our way home today they're sewing places all down here I guess because it's military and they have to sew on their badges and stuff like that they're sewing places and there's a quilting place down here y'all if y'all want me to go in and show it to you um, and uh, I told Chris I said I need to get me a quilting loom thing put it out there in that sunroom instead of putting that big table out there and um, start quilting at night that's what I ought to do I said because then I really would be like my granny bee uh, y'all tell me what you think of that you know I was gonna move that door daddy gave me out there and put things out there but I really think it'd be kind of neat to I don't know I, I would think it'd be fun to quilt but um I don't know if my hands would let me I've got arthritis but it'd probably be good for them to, to get the exercise for your fingers and stuff um you want to see the quilt show it's called scrappy rooster quilt shop that's what it's called I just passed it um maybe I will turn let's see what time is it it's four o'clock here if I'm gonna show y'all that quilt store I probably need to turn around and show it to y'all because um, I would imagine things close early in a little town wouldn't you maybe I know y'all like for it to be live you can't see quite as good when it's live but um, I'm gonna go into Bells first, and then I'll, and then I'll come back on live when I go back by the quilt store. I'll try not to stay in there long. How's that? Because I want to get some um, towels. So I will see y'all in a bit. I'm gonna run into Bells and get me some white towels so I can bleach them. Maybe get Chris some underwear. He's his underwear is getting worn out, and he didn't get any for Christmas. You know, usually you get underwear for Christmas. And he didn't. So anyway, I got a green light. Um, I'm gonna run in here, but I'll turn it back on and show y'all the quilt store. That's it's called the Scrappy Rooster. Okay, we'll see y'all in a bit.